All right, how's it going, everybody? My name is Azabiel, and I'm the Guildmaster of the Guild of Legends, located in the heart of the multiverse. And today, we are jumping into Project Zomboid, recommended by uh, friends in, in and uh, actually, uh, I believe a buddy of mine was the one who got this game for me. So, absolutely, thank you for that. Uh, I have seen some gameplay of this game i haven't touched it at all myself uh even up to this point so uh i've only gone into the options to just to adjust the audio but otherwise completely fresh into this game so right out the gate we're just gonna go into the tutorial we're gonna see how this goes these are the end times there was no hope of survival. This is how you died. Soon you'll die horribly. No one will mourn you, and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So, let's make sure you go out fighting. Alright. First things first, you can zoom with your mouse wheel. Or, there's keys. Get bird's eye view of the lonely place where you... Let's get back in again. Let's look at your character information. Click the flashing heart. Health status. It's all okay. Scratches, bites, bleeding, broken limbs, all listed for your convenience. It's also here that you can bandage and treat your wounds. Alright. How about another good... Do you know another good panel? It took me way too long to figure out how to read. Ah, uh, yes, the skills panel. Alright. Uh, I'm going to move this up a bit. It's such a shame to lose you. This panel shows your points in various different survival skills, fitness, strength, and then all the rest. In-game activities build up skill points that level you up in each discipline. Learning speeds can be increased by reading books, watching certain TV shows. Ultimately, your brain will become cold, dead sludge, but in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? Time to take off those training wheels, lady. Close the control panel by clicking the cross. Why is it on the left side? So much computer use has conditioned me to think the X is going to be on the right side. Anyway, next setting aspect of survivor life. It's looking at stuff. Woo. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse. Turn to face... Okay. You know, I actually uh, experimented once in a game uh, of D&D &D with using kind of vision angles. Uh, and during combat, players could at will move, uh, rotate their character on their turn. But if it wasn't their turn, they were kind of locked into the direction that they were facing, the, the fo where their focus was. Um, so you might have still had a pretty broad field of view, but someone could, you could be completely oblivious, uh, visually to what's going on behind you because you had turned a different way to focus on something else during the fight. Uh, however, out of combat, we, you know, players were allowed to just kind of, just like with movements and stuff, typically, if we have a, a map movement and stuff, you know, I would I would allow the players to just move around at will. And similarly, they could rotate their vision at will. But uh, I don't do that usually. But it is a fun thing to play around with if the circumstance or the type of campaign calls for it. Yeah. 
can only see in the direction you're facing. Swift and unexpected death can come from behind, whether from the undead host or your fellow man. Let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move around with the WASD keys. All right. Why not walk into the adjacent room? It's definitely safe. Now let's strafe. Holding the right mouse button while you look around while walking. Walk. We're going to do some looting if you want to survive an attack. Head back to the marked counter in the kitchen and learn to steal. Move your mouse over the loot panel and expand. Okay, so there's no opening the thing. It's just already open, I guess. Dead mouse. Uh, pick it up. Let's double click. Goes into my inventory. Uh, I'll throw it in a pocket or something. Uh, I should probably pick up that empty bottle too. Dying of thirst is horrid. See those moodles? The heck is a moodle? Anyway, see those moodles to the right? Looks like someone's got a rumbly tummy. I'm assuming it's this. This is a moodle, apparently. Uh, right click the dead mouse in your inventory. See the interact options. Eat the dead mouse. That doesn't seem ideal, but all right. <coughs> Making do with what we got, I guess. It's better, apart from the nausea. To learn about what each Moodle means, move your cursor over them. Easy. To... All right. Uh, take things easy. Not taking things easy. Okay. Uh, better fill up your bottle before the water supply is cut off. Right-clicking items in the world bring up interaction options. Move to the sink and right-click to fill empty bottle. Automatically drink from water that's carried in your main inventory. Let's see what's in the other cupboards. Open up that awesome loot panel again. Equip primary. So equipping items and I guess looting certain items takes time. Just some things you can just quickly pick up from the looks of that. Because it looked like it did two actions. It was grabbing it and then equipping it. It's hot in here. Let's pop open a window, get some fresh air while your lungs are still in fight. Walk to the flashing window behind you. Let's get out there. Pressing E will interact with objects in front of you, most notably doors and windows. So because you might need to quickly open a door or window to get through... You can just, you've got a hotkey for those interactions specifically. Let's climb out, let's go climb out the window and beat that corpse back to death. Hold E to climb out the window. <clears throat> uh, hold the right mouse button and move using walls to strafe up close to the fetid hat woman. Click the left mouse button to attack when ready. Remember, hold the right mouse button to ready the frying pan, then left click to swing. Picture shows the mouse position in relation to the floor. Find yourself up using the right mouse button and use a circle at the bottom of the light to match the cursor, target the head, bash the left. Like so. Frying pan broke. Your mother's skull was really thick. <laughs> that was my mother, apparently. All right. Uh, let's borrow the hunting knife we planted in her back earlier. Loot and equip the hunting knife from the mother's body. Right click the hunting knife in the loot panel to show equip options. Hear that? There's more. Move up to the gate from the tall fence. Press E to open the gate or click on it with the left mouse button. But here's the thing, though. Um, oh, really? I can't, I can't take the hat. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nope. Uh, I don't care about that. I just want it gone. Press E to open the gate or click on it with the left mouse button. And close. Vegetative Shambler in the vegetable garden, but he's got enough brain function to see you. If you sneak, you'll make less noise, it'll be less visible. So, press C to toggle crouch, and move to sneak. 
Wow, it's like you're invisible. I mean, we maxed out your skills here, but that is impressive. If you sneak close to the wall, fence, or vehicle, you'll crouch lower and reduce your visibility even more. Sneak around the corner. To the low gate in the fence. Stay crouch open the gate with E. Some special forces stuff right here. Strafe close behind him with the knife. Your arms will raise to show you're in place for a stealth attack. Strafe building right mouse button. Tap the left. Am I not crouching anymore? Hmm. feel like I'm not seeing... There we go. Oh, okay. I just wasn't close enough. You did. No more daddy issues. Now take his bag and put it on. Make sure you're standing over the corpse. Right-click the large backpack from the loot panel. Equip on back. You've wanted this large backpack for years, and now it's yours. Let's see what's inside. Find the large flesh and backpack icons inside of the inventory panel and click on it. CS2000 shotgun. Loaded shotgun and some bandages. We're, we always do our best for you. Equip it in both hands. Right click the shotgun, show interaction options. The window in Dad's shed just broke right on time. Vault the fence, and let's check it out. Running at the fence will make you jump over it automatically. Run using left shift. Lost towards the fence. Um, all right, let's... This is perfect, but I didn't prefer for you, Diddy. Let's take his gear. Ignore the glass shards. Climb through the block window by standing next to it and holding E. Oh no, your hands are bleeding. The broken glass in the window shredded them. We saw that coming. Open the health panel by clicking, uh, pressing H or clicking the heart icon. Scratched. Bleeding. Bandages from the backpack will help. Right click the red text that's reporting injury and apply a bandage. Let's check outside in case there's more moldering flesh automatons. Move to the curtained window. Nice. How do I stop running? <laughs> curtains stop you seeing out, but they also stop the horde seeing in. Open the curtain, it's probably safe. Right mouse button to interact, or hold left shift. Open curtain. Two of them. Three if you count your sister on the floor there. Better get some improved protection from their nails and teeth. Thicker clothing and headwear helps protect from bites and scratches. Put on what you think is best for a final encounter. Once you're ready, head through the door. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Throw on a leather jacket to start. Uh, let's go desert camo pants. Hoodie has better scratch defense than the leather jacket, apparently. Or is the hoodie... Is the shirt something separate? Can I wear that, too? Yeah, can I wear that, too? Oh, cool. So I can do, like, three layers. Um, these are worse than the hood. Need some boots. Orange hunting vest, what would be the point? Uh, overalls, looks like it'd be comparable to the pants I have. Rock t-shirt. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. But does it really not let me have a bandana and the hood? That... Hmm. 
That is absurd. I should be able to... I should clearly be able to... Ah! So I can. Why did it... <laughs> why did it make me... I'm guessing... Oh, I'm guessing the hat... I, I didn't want to put it on backwards. Uh, I'm assuming the hat probably can't go with the hoodie, even though it really should. Definitely seen people with a cap and a hoodie on at once. Um, so we don't care about... Can I just... I can't just get rid of it? Okay. It doesn't matter. This is tutorial anyway. Uh, alright, let's go. Remember that you can sneak to make less noise. Proceed to crouch and move to the wired fence. If you have high enough skills and aren't exhausted, tall fences can be climbed. You have those skills. Proceed to climb over the wired fence. So athletic, time to make some noise. Aim at the running dead men by holding the right mouse button. Green outline shows good chance of connecting with... Stop moving. They're all dead. So sad. Never mind. Soon you'll all be back together. Every zombie in the forest heard the shotgun and they're coming for you. But is there anything to... There are some things to gain here. Uh... All right. My pants sure got bloody. You know I run, but here's how to sprint. Sprint to the marker by the outhouse now. That's advice. If you ever get a zombie bite or fear one is imminent, press Q and you'll swallow the antidote. Antidote. Only kidding. All hope is gone. There is no antidote. So you can call out. I'm guessing that makes... Uh, draws even more attention towards you. Alright. Yep, they sure are... Ah, this foliage is really working counter to my survival. <clears throat> so I think that's all the ammo I have. Can I not? It just doesn't let me. All right. Uh. I'm wearing too many clothes. I am unpleasantly hot. Let's go! There we go. You died! For further help in the main game, press F1 to open the survival guide. Return to the main menu and then survive the Nox event for real. What's the Nox event? Uh, game? What happened? <laughs> Have you given up on me? We'll give it a second here. Uh, before we assume all hope is lost and the game has failed. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right. This is an interesting game for sure. Um, definitely something that seems like it'd be a lot of fun with more people. So hopefully, uh, I know at least one, uh, one buddy of mine uh, already showed interest in doing some co-op stuff in this game. Uh... There, you know, 
found out that it's possible to do persistent servers with this apparently so that is something that i'd be interested in checking out um i'm just curious if there's any interesting options controller you can play this with a controller all right um <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> basically my goal for tonight is just to try out the game a little bit um depending on how things go maybe i'll go in do do like a solo run see how long that goes uh, see how I do there. And if it goes for a decent amount of time, we'll probably just do it just the once. If it's something where I die a lot very early on, then we'll probably do more. <clears throat> uh, Playstyle. Apocalypse. Stealth focus. Short lifespan. Combat best avoided. Survivor. Powerful combat. Longer lifespan. Challenging playstyle based on PZ's previous survival mode. Builder. Construction. Expression. Farming focus. More relaxed experience. Custom sandbox. Tailor, design your own difficulty and play style. I think I'll go with Apocalypse. I'm guessing that's like the default, kind of, based on what we just went through. Challenges, oh, really? Okay, so they've got specific, like, challenge things as well. Get out of the shower and fall badly. You're blind, drunk, and have nasty cold. On top of all this, the house is on fire. Today is definitely not your day. Challenge inspired by a really bad day from the awesome, wonderful, and must play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Storm is coming. Crowds are gathering over Kentucky. Crack love. Is the map in this game best based on somewhere in Kentucky? I think I heard that the map was based on a real location, but I don't recall. Uh, so this one has a constant storm going. I imagine the storm probably changes up gameplay a fair bit with visibility and stuff like that. House in the woods, last stand. You hear them approaching hordes of deadheads encroaching on your isolated cabin from every angle. Death is inevitable, but a shotgun is close at hand. Endless waves of zombies in ever-increasing numbers survive for as long as possible against the overwhelming odds. Last stand accumulator. Another day, another cabin ready to be bloody. The hordes are upon you, and your death will be as painful as it is gruesome. So go out fighting. Endless waves of zombies in ever-increasing numbers. Use money earned by killing Zeds to buy equipment, level up, and repair your blood-soaked weaponry. So, uh, almost like a full game mode instead of just like a kind of a one-off challenge like Last Stand seems to be, based on the descriptions. Uh, Kingsmouth. Enjoy a relaxing stay on Kingsmouth Island. Studio, where all the best movies are filmed. Do these just start you in specific locations, or...? Sending fog. People first saw it in the water. A faint white blanket over the Ohio River. It began as mist, then it enveloped the town. The townsfolk died, screaming in the gloom. Now they walk out there, unseen, unheard, and relentless in the pursuit of the living. You know, I'll be honest, this is already giving me ideas and inspiration and, and a desire to run a zombie survival game in D, &D. i've already got a i've already done like a post-apocalypse but it'd be interesting to do something that's less like fallout and 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 uh all that kind of inspired and something more just a classic zombie apocalypse uh maybe we'll see something like that on the channel at some point in the future Winter is coming. It's mid-July, but suddenly there's a chill on the breeze. In a mere three days' time, a winter will set in like no other before it. You awake in an isolated location, you have meager supplies, and the undead hordes might be slowed by the intense cold, but they are no less deadly. Wrap up warm, Survivor. You have one day. You're back in Knox County. You're back on the map where the Project Zomboid infection first began. You have one day of relative safety. Zombies will arrive in huge numbers and they will find you. Where did you where did you use to make where did you use to make your last stand again? Where did you make your last stand in the old days? Better find it quick. Our thanks to community mapper Bob Heckling for recruiting the old 015 map with the current PZ tool set. That's cool. Someone made the old map that they had some time ago. Alright, so we're gonna do just do a classic 
Apocalypse. We're going to see how this goes. <clears throat> oh, you've got some different locations. Let's see. Ultra is a small town in the area locals known as uh, know as Knox County, the dead center, the dead center of the state of Kentucky. It grew as an army town, but now welcomes folks from all walks of life. Some commuters to the bigger towns nearby, uh, some military families, and some living below the poverty line. It's a small place filled with good people, not to mention Spiffo's finest chicken and biscuits on the side of Kentucky. Sure, not much happens here, but that doesn't mean Muldra life is dull. Riverside, a colorful town tightly hugging the banks of the mighty Ohio. Exploring Riverside is a rich and diverse experience. To the west, you'll find the older parts of town, while out east is where our wealthier residents work, rest, and play. In fact, if you're considering a stay with us, why not check out the nearby Knox Heights Country Club, the ultimate in comfort and relaxation. Members have access to an 18-hole golf course, tennis court, swimming pool, and spa. Come join it today. Rosewood, a short stay in Rosewood is pleasant but a long stay. Well, the inmates of the famous Knox Penitentiary will tell you that's not so fun. Ideally situated geographically for ease of access, Rosewood is a community hub for administration and community services, as well as a leading incarceration center. The county courthouse, a recently refurbished fire department, and a lively law enforcement facility make this one of the most important towns in the area. Come visit today. West Point. Whether you're strolling through the town square, chowing on one of our pies, or just chatting with friendly locals, West Point is the true small town USA. Don't let sleepy streets, affordable housing, and acres of rolling farmland fool you. This is the Knox Country Administrative. I wonder if that's supposed to say county. Knox Country Administrative Hub. If our mayor isn't busy rubber stamping public ordinances in the town hall, you might just find him in the famous Twiggy's Bar. No matter how long your stay at West Point, welcome is guaranteed. Let's go with Muldero. It's top of the list. Maybe <clears throat> if I die quickly, we'll just go down the list and, and see some of these other locations. Oh. Occupation and traits. All right. The tutorial doesn't get you ready for this. Uh... You know, I'm sure I could look at these and actually let's just look at fire officer, uh, axe, fitness, sprinting strength. So each occupation is going to have a little package of skills, it looks like. Let's just look for one that sounds fun and go with that. I'm not going to bother with <clears throat> looking at what the stats do just now. We're just going to find that seems neat. Um, you know, burglar caught my eye, so... I thought it did. There it is. Can how are vehicles? Less chance of breaking the lock of a window. Light-footed, nimble, sneaking burglar. That's actually probably good in this play mode because stealth is important. Um, <clears throat> now, I can take negative traits and positive traits, it looks like. Um, shoot, you know what I should have done? I should have just done random. In fact, since I say that, let's just do that. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. That is so many traits. Um, all right, so this one is a chef instead of burglar. Uh, and gets panicked and outdoors, so I want to be indoors as much as possible. Endure faster endurance loss, that's not good. Slow loss of tiredness while sleeping, so I probably have to sleep longer to get rid of tiredness. Uh, very low endurance in addition to faster endurance loss. So I cannot, I just can't move. My endurance is terrible and I can't hear. That's great. Uh, plus one long blunt. That sounds suspicious, but I get what they're going for. First aid, resilience, they'll spread disease, all right, zombification. Uh, recovers quicker from injuries and illness. That'll be good because I can't run away from the injuries and illness with obese, unfit, and asthmatic, I'm guessing. Uh... All right, uh, this is who we got. Let's go for it. Um, it's interesting that it left me with a point to spend. Um, can I? There we go. <clears throat> Just take the one uh, 
you know, the, the first option we see that would be available for that cost. Might as well, right? I don't see any reason not to. Um, all right, can I randomize this as well? Let's just hit random a bunch of times and settle on checkered pants, Marty Call. Let's go. Oh, those are chef pants, apparently. Very fitting, considering I'm a chef. All right, this is going to be interesting. Sorry for spending about 10 minutes in the menus there, but, um, you know, we're figuring this out. We're we're learning. What was my name? Marty Call? Marty is <laughs> going to have a hard time. I think that's the point of this, but uh, Marty, especially with those randomized traits it's gonna be rough it's gonna be especially rough uh click to start let's go let me just make sure stream is looking good here it seems to be going off all right uh movements combat noodles it told me about all of this. I'm guessing all of the basics are covered in the tutorial. <clears throat> the other 11 here might be a bit... Uh, it be stuff that's not covered quite so... Uh, so much in the tutorial. Um, respond to sight and sound. Be extremely wary of loud noises like sirens, alarms, and gunfire. I can't be wary of those because I'm deaf. I can't hear them, so... Uh, this will be interesting. I wonder if that actually, like... I mean, me as a player, if I could hear the things in the game, that would inform me of stuff. So, does it just mute all of the normal game audio? Use left shift to jog, left alt to sprint. Alright, so sprinting... Kind of have to crane my hand here. Um, but uh, that's that's doable. Running generates sound and makes you more noticeable. Can't outrun deadhead. You can outrun deadheads for a while, but not forever. Crouch, C to crouch. Already covered that. Uh, each weapon is capable of dealing a set amount of damage. However, its powerful its power and precision is determined by your skills or lack of them. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. See what weapons I would be good with. I'd be long blunt, short blade. Maintenance for Okay. Uh, so if I can get like a baseball bat or some sort of club or like a knife, I'm good with those. Uh, long blunt sounds safer. I'm guessing it, I actually have to actively be closer to the enemies with shorter weapons. So uh, I'm going to be looking for long blunt weapons as opposed to short blades. But short blades will maybe keep in my back pocket. Um... Yep, uh, reload guns, using unbox ammo with R, clear jam with X, that's good to know, they didn't tell me about that. Low condition weapons are more likely to jam, that's why the maintenance skill is useful, I'm guessing. Uh, so you can keep your weapons in good condition. Aim outlines appear only for firearms, by default red outline means low chance to hit, <clears throat> green means high chance. Turn aim outlines for melee weapons as well, or turn off aim outline completely, use the out... Aim outline settings in the display tab of the options screen available from the main menu. Stabby weapons like knives will sometimes be able to jaw stab zombies to kill them in one hit. Don't expect much from the butter knife. Okay, so short blade, if I'm being sneaky, short blade can possibly get him in one shot. Um, <clears throat> ground attacks. Uh, yeah, just like with the pan, like it taught me bash them in the head when they're down uh space right beside down enemy to stomp them this is weaker than attack with the weapon but means your weapon won't lose condition so i can save durability that way if necessary um stomping zombies legs will never kill them and just look silly all right uh i feel like i want to get just get into the game because i've already been in the menu for like 10 minutes but i want to know how to play the game this looks like a kind of a complex game here a little bit uh i mean with this many skills right it's gotta be drink or fill bottles use right click menu on uh buh, buh, buh. and it said that you'll automatically drink from containers in inventory so as long as you have the water you're covered but you can also drink from 
sources to save that water uh that's in your storage uh in your inventory you can also get water by leaving open containers like saucepans outside in the rain by collecting it from a river or by building a wooden water container you can build stuff in this game ah, i guess that's why they would need like carpentry and metalworking and stuff like that water that is not plumbed from a source like a faucet will be tainted and must be boiled for safe drinking however tainted water can be safely used to water crops or to wash your clothes you have to wash clothes why do you, why why is that a thing? Why is that necessary in the video game? <laughs> um I mean I guess it's like some of the stuff that's in any other like kind of survival based game. It's just the difference here is this one is isometric <clears throat> as opposed to like a first person thing like um uh like the forest or stranded deep or anything like that. Um and craftable items you create with the, uh, da, 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 da. inventory crafting. Uh, any craftable items you can create with this and other stuff you're carrying will magically be shown. Okay, so like here with this example, they've got a hammer. And they can use that to make a spiked bat or a spiked plank because it's, I guess, the tool you use to shove the nails into whatever you're spiking up barricading you barricade doors and windows by right clicking you need a hammer planks and nails in your inventory to barricade with planks so keeping a hammer nails and planks in inventory is going to be useful or at least nearby or a propane torch welding mask and metal sheets barricade with metal probably even better um as you find resources become more competent you can eventually construct entire buildings entire buildings I'm starting to understand why a persistent server in this would be a thing. Uh, for wooden constructions, you must have a hammer, while metal constructions require a propane torch, welding mask, and for most metalworking items, welding rods. Simply right-click on the ground to get the build menu. I feel like you should be able to do the metalworking without the mask, just, you know, at a huge risk to, I don't know, going blind or something. Like, obviously, you wouldn't want to, but if you were desperate, maybe you would risk that, right? Uh, from here, you can select any piece of furniture. Right-click on the ground to get the building. Okay. Process is a rapid one. Walls have to be built in multiple stages. Realism devoted game. If you ever had builders in your... Uh, if you've ever had builders in, you'll know these things take time. Please note, we do let you craft cups of tea in-game if it helps. You can rotate crafted items before placement by pressing R. <clears throat> Remember, the more you craft, the better you'll become. So, get better at crafting by doing it. One of the most common mistakes in the zombie apocalypse is the curtains open. Forgetting the drapes, closure invites wandering zombies down your garden path and straight into your brainstem. Close curtains are blinds, use the right-click menu. Breaking windows also stops zombies from viewing light and movement. If there are no curtains and you haven't got plain spare, perhaps you can hang something up instead. Go on and give it a try. What, like a... Got like a painting sitting around and hang that up in front of the window? Eat nice food. Uh, to cook your food, simply place it in a cooker or microwave. Perhaps campfire if you fled town. Turn plants on through a click menu. Pretty straightforward. So if they apply to when you're done, though, unless you want to cook your whole house, too. So if you have, if you leave the oven on, you can accidentally burn the place down. Um, <clears throat> antique stoves, fireplaces, campfires require fuel. <laughs> Growing your... This is a really involved game. I am starting to understand now. I was already understanding it, but I'm understanding it more and more as we go on. Uh, foraging on the woods, enable search mode. Magnifying glass top left of the screen. And I press this icon to the top left. Ah, right there. Uh, enable search mode. Whoa. Search focus, firewood stoves. Let's close out of that. Um, Is that in this menu? So I don't. Since, since I did that, it opened up the. It switched to this. Um, shows your zone. The impacts of the loot can be found. 
hover your mouse over the window to inspect loot categories that are available in your current zone. Urban area. Uh, other common food, common animals, common stones, rare firewood, rare. Guessing stones or firewood are the more useful things as far as like general use go and for crafting and stuff. Enable search. Uh, this is the area in which. Oh, okay, so that was doing something in the world. Um, arrow point two nine will appear when they see. So that is basically like you're actively searching. So maybe it'll. It'll. Let me see here. I enable search mode. It kind of doles out the stuff outside my search zone. But the search zone, it'll automatically, like, it'll point shit out, it looks like. If I'm understanding this correctly. Um, arrow pointing the item will appear when they see something. An eye icon will appear while your character approaches and sees exactly what it is. All right, all right, all right. Look around by aiming and crouching will both increase search radius, darkness, equipment, weather, skills, item size, negative moodles. Speaking of negative moodles, I'm getting bored. <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it, but... Alright. Uh, loot... Let's see. Drag scare over multiple items to the mouse. I'll pick something and move it to crap. I'm also getting thirsty. Alright, okay. We've we've seen enough. Um, that's it. Okay, I'm trying to... <clears throat> Are there no... Okay, okay, okay. Now, this looks like a, a, a refrigerator or something. Yeah, just a fridge. Oh, I'm stupid. I completely forgot this part up here. That's how you actually loot stuff. So, there's food in the fridge. Paper bags and napkins. Apron. Why not? Hot sauce. Uh, bread knife. Yeah, obviously that's not going to be solid weapon uh can i <clears throat> anything is better than nothing right now that's uh the mindset i'm approaching this with uh container is probably useful extinguisher is there that's good to know uh, Marty calls Q. Okay. Um, so put in container, put in container, search. Uh, all right. <laughs> um, it says this is a container. How do I? How would one? Ah, okay. I clearly don't need it. <laughs> um. All right. Let's start checking things out out here. Money's not gonna do me any good. No. Okay. That. Other icon is the floor. I wasn't realizing that. Um, <laughs> got a rolling bin. Uh, my weapon of choice is a rolling pin. Yeah, obviously I want a drink. Um, 
can clean up here. Aha! Uh, box of nails, you want that? Uh, yeah, that's dirty rag ripped sheets. Can be used as an improvised bandage. Dirty rag, I wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't risk that as a, a bandage option, but <clears throat> oh, I think this guy saw me sprinting about and wants to say hi. Didn't it say? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> let's wear the hat. Uh, let's wear the long denim shorts. That sounds so ridiculous. Sneakers, socks, a t shirt that's bloody. Oh, this lady. Or gentleman. I don't know. I don't know your whole deal. <coughs> It is interesting because I really, I can't hear what's happening. That's wild. Wow, you've got a durable head. Uh, jacket is bloody, but it's good. Pull an sweater. Yeah, we're going to wear that too. Uh, Rosewood map we want. Uh... No. No, God, no. Oh, it's immediately getting bad. Oh, I can't get in there. I'm panicking because of being outside, I'm pretty sure. I can't hear anything. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna run into the woods. This is... Oh, there was a zombie there. Oh, I tripped! Oh, it's the thick foliage. Oh, that should oh, slow those ones down at least. Let's stop crouching. That's not doing us any good. Um, I need to get out of immediate danger and find somewhere to hide. Uh, no, don't. Oh, no. Wow, how do you, once you've been seen, how do you get out of this situation? On top of everything, I need to run and I, I am the most bad at that. Like, this is a bad time for Mr. Marty Call. He's hungry, he's thirsty, He's sweaty, he's hot, he's panicking, and uh, is exhausting himself as well. This surely leads somewhere. Oh, it's fully not even letting me jog now. Excessive exertion can barely walk. McCoy logging. This isn't going to be a useful place to go, is it? Okay. Things are calming down. <clears throat> no! Come on, buddy. 
Just gonna have to die. Stop surviving so much. All right. <clears throat> so bad situation i'm gonna just eat i i'm just drinking the sauce just straight up hot so no no get get you're not wanted here oh no gotta walk out of here Still can't run. God, what can I do? I... I'm helpless. <laughs> I am not... Good God, they're still after me. <clears throat> At least I'm not hungry anymore, because I had hot sauce. So many of them. How far away is this logging place? Can I... There, There's even more of them. Is this... No, it's still fine, I think. <laughs> let's... Let's play some mousetrap for these zombies. <clears throat> Oh. They're hanging up on it instead of, like, tripping it. <laughs> this road is long. And it's like a single lane. Like, what happens if someone is coming down this road, right? Like, it's such a long road that you wouldn't see other people that are getting onto it, right? Right? And, and you wouldn't see other people that are already on it until, like, what is this? Nothing, I guess. Uh, this path is, like, the only solace from the fact that, Jesus, uh, from the fact that uh, it's just a tiny one-lane road. Um... Breaking line of sight is kind of my only hope, I think. Breaking line of sight and hope. God, they're still coming. I was hoping there would be more here to help me kind of with my sneaking. Instead, it's just a huge open space. I get it. It's a lumber yard, but still. But it looks like they've gotten caught up over there. So I just need to find a structure I might be able to hide out in for a little while. I should have... There was food, there was all kinds of stuff in the shop before I left. I didn't even... Yep, yeah, so... Looting items has... Royal body status is okay. Looting items has time uh, amounts of time that it takes, but planks are going to be useful. This this is a good spot to go, I guess, if you're getting ready to barricade a place. Like if you've got a place to hide out already, um, you know. What? Actually, 
because of that, let's... I wasn't sure what uh, my capacity would be. I'm already kind of hitting it. Um, let's take off my jacket. Does that help with being hot? I think it did. What am I doing here? All right. So this is like the status of the vehicle. <clears throat> Honestly, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. It could be better, but I assume it could be better. I don't really know. <laughs> um, Stop it. Uh, so obviously I don't have a key for this, and it has no fuel. I'm very tired. Um, let's see, can I... Aha! Uh, twine might be useful. Um, what does smoking even do? Uh, I don't think that's going to be useful heckish again. Um, oh, this is cool. You can see your overall defenses based on your gear. Um, so I'm a bit on the... I'm, I'm kind of nearing... I'm, I'm above middle, but pretty close to... I'm still in normal. Um, insulation. God, there's... This is so in-depth. This is ridiculously in-depth. <laughs> uh, skin temperature. So, torso, head are the warmest. Do I have shoes on? <laughs> um, the apron is not doing me anything useful. Um... <clears throat> Now, can I climb in the back here? Trunk, there's logs. Okay. Hold on. Can I hop back in here? I don't want to investigate this area. Can I sleep in the car? Is there... That's what I wanted to do when I got in here. Um, <clears throat> picked up that map. Wow. I immediately <clears throat> crossed over here, I think, and then just walked on the highway until I got to this side street going through a line here. That, that's why I was wandering in the woods so long. It would have almost certainly been a much better idea to stay in town. But there's probably more... Zombie presence in town, I would think. Crafting. Inventory. Let me... God, I'm gonna... Oh, I just said something. I didn't want to do that. Um... This logging facility has got to have... An office. An office that I can hopefully get into and sleep. You know, maybe the reason this truck is parked up here is because office nearby? I'm not seeing it though, just more logs.
Belt locked and barred. So having a belt gives you like these quick slots, it looks like. You know what? We're going into the logs. And I'm too panicked to sleep. I can't sleep outside. It makes sense. I get it. I have... I'm agoraphobic, so... Following the road... Surely... There we go. We see some structures. Hopefully it's not, like, super populated. Or populated at all. Is it just a little shack I found? Oh, no. I'm in real bad shape. Scrap garbage bags. Oh, that spooked me. <laughs> it genuinely, like, got me. <laughs> uh, this is... It's just one, so... Yeah, but I'm so sluggish right now. I'm barely able to fight it. Stop, stop, stop. Stay down. Stop wiggling. Stop wiggling. Really stop wiggling. God, what now? There we go. Let's close this. Uh, unpleasantly hot. Okay, so I'm even warmer now that I'm inside, I guess. Um, you know what? Uh, baggy jeans sounds better than what I've got. Uh, and a tank top sounds like it's probably better than... Oh, I can wear the tank top with the... Well... There we go. Hold on. Oh, I have a t-shirt on. The tank top actually is more insulating than... And, you know, if I'm overheating, obviously I'm going to take off my Socks. Um, all right. Now, okay, so do I can I do something with? Just gonna This is my house now and I'm gonna God, I... <clears throat> What's it gonna take for that panic to go down or move? That has nothing to do with it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm inside. It's starting to drop the panic. And I think I'm going to be able to get a chance to actually sleep in this horrible scenario. Um, I can rest. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Resting doesn't seem to be progressing. Sure you want to sleep? No, but I mean, I have to. If I don't, I'm just gonna die of exhaustion. Can't get back to sleep. Try again later. Man, I... Pain. 
from sleeping on the floor, isn't it? <laughs> um, nothing I can do about that. All right. Um, very heavy load. Uh, so I've got all this extra crap. Let's, you know what? Oh, yeah, because I don't have a hammer. I can't. Uh... Oh. Well, so I want to keep. Yeah, I want to keep one, so I'm just going to drop. Ow! No, oh, hold on. Grab one. I want to keep one so that if I need a. If I need a splint, I've got one. Uh, it's dark outside. Is it? Is it the middle of the night? Why does something not feel quite right? <laughs> Why do I have discomfort? Um, let's re-equip my. Rolling pin. How am I looking on temperature? Everything's good. Um, so if I can put on these, I don't want. Hold on. Can I? Okay. Uh, socks, I don't care about. Shoot, yeah, actually, hold on. Hold on. Aha, so I can get more ripped sheets that way. Okay. Uh, can I do that with these? No, I can't. Okay. Um, give me dirty rags. Uh, but dirty rags I can still use for crafting. Um, <clears throat> I keep hitting escape to try to close menus. Uh, all right, well, it's not ideal, but we want to get to this office building. We're going to spy in the windows first before we before we go um i'm less exhausted than before so looks clear so far starting to get cold actually <laughs> of course oh no um of paper home pen empty notebook that's garbage um Does rest, is that doing anything? Can't tell. Um, okay, so there is, there is a bar. I'm ridiculously tired, so surely I can sleep again. 
hopefully. <clears throat> it's probably not. Yep. Minor pain. Slight damage. <laughs> Am I going to end up like breaking something from. Yeah, that's interesting. It really, it, like, it fully dulls your senses for everything else around, but then gives you this little zone where it'll, you know, the the means to keep a lookout. Um, man, at this point, the only option, like, the only chance I feel like I would have is going back to town and i mean that's a long ways away hold on why is the music intense it's a long ways away but it's a straight shot um let's get my polo back on to keep me a bit more warm Um, can I, there we go, lock the door, um, yeah, what's, what's gonna do me in is starvation, I think, <laughs> Didn't I smash the window? I thought I smashed. I guess, I guess I didn't. Yeah, we're going to sleep again. Like, I need this tiredness to go away. Ridiculously tired. Why am I so, why am I so tired? Like, <clears throat> can I not get, how much am I actually, how long am I actually sleeping? When I do this, is it enough to actually accomplish anything? Advanced view? No. What is this? This is too much. That's, that's way too many things. This isn't a game anymore. This is just actual zombie survival. Oh, that's interesting. It's like all the different options for training media. Okay, so I'm not really doing much, and this probably isn't super entertaining to see because there's nothing happening. But man, like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I feel like uh I feel like I'm just kind of doomed out the gate from uh my starting traits. And I can't get rid of this tiredness. I got rid of the other thing. Um Can't get back to sleep. I assume because of the neck pain, but I can't do anything about that.
Take this, you're tired. Can't get back to sleep. But I don't have neck pain this time. I'm just hungry and parched. I'm parched. I'm not even, you know, a little thirsty. I am parched. God, this is terrible. This is a... Everything about this starting setup is bad for my chances of survival. Like, I didn't see what perks I got. Like, I didn't pay attention to what perks I got, but it couldn't possibly be worth it in the end. This is just so bad. Hold on. Hold on. Did I come down this road, see the sign, branch off that way? Is that is that what I did? Or did I come in on this road? I think I came in on this road. Okay. That's slightly less upsetting. If I went that way and went a long path around instead of going to the immediate entryway to the, the useful spot of it for me, that would have been horrible. All right. But, uh, I've shown that I, uh, that it is possible to get away. I just need obstacles to get in the way of the zombies and to sneak well enough. And I'm not, like, inherently good at sneaking, but I'm clearly getting better at it from just doing it so much and my strength is almost max why is my strength so high is that always do you always have something that high that's crazy Now, foraging isn't going to do me much good because I'm guessing... You know, much as I could eat, I need more to drink than to eat. God, he's... That thing is keeping on me. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, we're just going to deal with you. Oh, I did that bad. Just going to stomp on you a bunch. Have a look around. Screwdriver. Uh, secondary. Um... I don't know how to make use of a secondary, but uh, maybe we'll figure it out. <clears throat> so, through this bit of tree line, I should be back in town. I like how this guy, like, I started as chef and everything, right? Like, has all of this cooking skill, apparently. Works in a fast food place, presumably, from where I started. Like, it, it looked like a fast food place. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. Did I kill that guy previously? Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. All right, so I'm just going to need to make a bold move here. I need to get away from this place. There's nothing here for me. Unless this isn't the place I thought it was. I thought that was where I started. 
Nope, apparently it's a bank. Waste my time on you. Can I? No. There we go. There we go. That might be. Close curtains. Locked door. curtains. There's a bed here. You know, more than anything else, what I think I should be looking at this. Ah, uh, painkillers. Value tech ported it? What? <laughs> it was like a Walkman CD player. Yes, sleep in the bed, please. Injured. Why am I so hurt? Is it... Oh, because I'm dying of thirst. Forgot to drink water. Uh, 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 drink. Drink. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Um, not enough soap, so it's slower. Let's wash. Start washing my clothing. <clears throat> I need to find something to eat as well, because otherwise I'm going to die of starvation. <laughs> yeah, see, I should have been listening. I should have been... Uh... I, I, I came in here knowing that I needed to drink something desperately, and as soon as I saw a bed, I forgot about it all. I was like, I could finally rest. Completely forgot that I was dying of thirst. Wow. Um. I am indeed a doofus. Yes. I am very... Okay, so let's stop that for now. Let's... Uh, carrots, leek, milk, beer bottle. Hold on. This is a fresh cooked steak. I'm obviously just gonna eat that right away. Someone cooked a whole fucking steak and then the zombie apocalypse happened. That's the worst kind of luck. Uh, feeling a little sad. I just had steak. Why would I be sad? That's the best thing I could ever happen. Uh, let's throw a saucepan on my back. You know, Fortnite style. Was it Fortnite? No, it's PUBG. Probably Fortnite as well, but... Do you have broken bones? I don't have broken bones. I've just been dying of thirst because I went to sleep without uh, drinking anything. Um... First aid sounds super important. Let's start reading that for a while before going back to bed. Anything else in... 
auto manual it. I'm horribly injured because I went to sleep without uh, drinking anything when I was dying of thirst. And then when I woke up, I was like in real bad shape. <laughs> oh, cool. It's foggy. That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing. Um, I'm going to do a word search to maybe make myself happy. <laughs> I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> I don't know how to make myself happy. Got stress reduction. Is that going to be... Is my sadness... Can it go down with stress reduction? Does that work? Is that how that works? 105. 105 what? Does Mr. Marty call, who is uh, obese, weigh 105 pounds? Is that what that's telling me? Because I don't think that adds up. <laughs> Um, let's go back to this thing. Let's, uh, if it gives you an XP multiplier for the level three to four skill. I don't even have level one, I don't think. Um, forgot that I had chef pants. Let's tear it up. Stop it. I want to tear up the pants. What did the pants ever do for me? Um, I'm going to go back to... God, I keep trying to close things. Uh, I'm going to go back to washing everything I didn't wash before. I just had the thought, I was like, oh, maybe if I put on some music or something, like, obviously, don't want to make a bunch of noise and there's zombies around, but maybe if I put on some music, it'll make me happy. And then I remembered, I'm deaf. I can't hear. <laughs> so that's a no-go, I guess. Antibiotics, sleeping tablets, adhesive bandages, that sounds useful. All right, so... God, I keep doing that. I can't stop it. Um, so I'm relatively safe in here. If I just don't go anywhere, I'm just not happy. Also, I don't like that it's foggy outside, but maybe that could work to my advantage. Excuse me. Batteries probably useful. More food. <laughs> Orange soda, yes please. Um Can I I can fill the saucepan. Um I, I guess you know what? You know what'll make me happy? Beer. Except not at all, really. In fact, it's probably just going to make everything worse. Oh, but it actually did make me happier. <laughs> uh, but really, this is what I wanted it for. Alright, so... This place is a place. Should I ever find myself in need of a place? Oh no, they're already encroaching upon me.
This game really doesn't give you even like a second to chill, huh? Jesus! It got me again! With your music stinger. Or sting, rather. Bro, why are you jumping over the fence? That's... Oh, fuck! Uh, open, please. Open, please. Smash, please. Fuck it, go! Well, this is very rapidly... Oh, God. I barely made it over that wall, I think. Oh, the fucking zombies are already in here. Would a saucepan be a better primary? We're gonna... God, I keep... Mm. Um... So maybe going out in the fog wasn't a good call. Maybe. What's happening? I got scratched and I'm bleeding? I don't believe it. How could I have ever let such a thing happen? If I know anything about me, I definitely wouldn't have let that happen to me. Excuse me? I don't allow you to persist. I don't think you understood what I was saying, sir or ma'am. Excuse me? Get! Go on, get! You too! Get! Oh no! It's only getting worse. Why is this place so thoroughly barricaded? Can I... Stop. Yes, let's work together. <laughs> oh, this is... ungood. This is a most ungood situation that I've found myself in. I'm bleeding. I'm exhausted. Oh, no. Uh, I was scratched and I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, and now infected. Cool. Um, let's throw some adhesive bandages on there. Excuse me, sir. You are a son of a bitch, and you're going to have to die for it. You're gonna have to die quicker, please. Stop it! You're busy killing a guy. Yeah. And you get dead sooner, please. Oh no! Oh, it's all gone to shit. Oh fuck! Stop it! Yeah, I'm very rapidly bleeding out. Um, let's just throw some ripped sheets on there. Let's just throw some ripped sheets on my neck. 
Let's just throw some ripped sheets on my thigh. Nope, can't do that without stopping, I guess. And throw some ripped sheets on my shin. There we go. All better. Fuck! <laughs> uh, shit. Um, yeah, let's just take some pills real quick. I don't care if I'm already infected. I'm gonna take some pills anyway. In fact, I'm gonna take more pills of a different kind. Can I take more? Jesus, god damn it with the fucking... There's no other audio except for the music and that, like, haha, they're on you sound. Um, how many of these do I have to take to um, make something happen? <laughs> uh, how many are in here? Jeez. This was like a full bottle. Um, let's see. What else do I have that I can do something with? Can I... Yeah, let's rip up this apron. Nope, can't do that while moving. Um, can I eat a leek while I'm moving? Sure can. And I'm gonna wash it down with some fresh milk. Oh, and you know what follows milk super well? Some orange soda. Drink all of that. Yeah. Get that orange soda. <laughs> Look at me go. Um. Oh, my right thigh has a dirty bench. And eh, it'll be fine. Um. Get, eat some carrots. I'm gonna litter. Um, oh, a plank can be used as a weapon? I'm so dumb. That would have been so much better than what I was using, I'm sure. Like, f because I can actually, uh, I can actually, um, I have a, I have that skill. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Uh... Not feeling these pants right now. Can I do anything with the battery? Sure can't. Um, it's gonna leave that for them. It's gonna leave that for them. It's gonna leave that for them. I have a saucepan. Oh! I have more pills! I have so many more pills. <laughs> See, what we didn't realize about Marty Call is he's actually from Florida, which explains his situation right now. Just pantsless, walking down the highway, taking a ton of pills. I am ridiculously tired. There we go. <laughs> now, what I would like to know is if something that I did is what made me immediately drop dead there, or if one of them just happened to get close enough to, like, give me enough of a little scratch to finally stop me. <laughs> nice! I was hoping that what had happened was me immediately passing out from some 
mixture of painkillers and sleeping pills. <laughs> An entire bottle of each, I should mention. So... Immediately what I'm noticing is this game is super hard. I think that's the idea, obviously. Uh, yeah, the the, o, uh, the OJ and the milk. I thought that was a good combination. Um, went out like a true Florida man. It, it, it is canon that Marty Call was from... Wow. Wow, Vanny. Wow. Fucking wow, bro. Uh... <laughs> It's canon that he's from Florida, which is why before he died, he took off his pants and took a bunch of pills <laughs> while walking down the highway. Get some pizza. I want some pizza. I've got a I've actually got pizza in the freezer. Maybe I'll have something later. Um Man, crazy. Um So unless I just go nonsense and go for a run like that again uh doing another new character is gonna it's gonna be a whole thing um let's go to the menu i think what i'm gonna do probably it's a little bit of a shorter one but i think i might end the stream here in just a minute um but Definitely enjoying this game so far. Uh, I think it's something that'll be more interesting to play with more people. So I think what I'm going to do is see if I can rope some friends into jumping into some Project Zomboid with me. I know one buddy already plays it a bunch. Uh, could probably show me the ropes a little bit better than me trying to just scour the menus from... Uh... <laughs> Uh, scour the menus while my character is actively getting, like, bored and thirsty and tired. Um. Only been two hours paid exactly zero dollars to be entertained. Well, you get what you paid for. Uh. There's also the possibility of doing... Uh, a persistent server with this, apparently. So that's something I might look into in the future. Because I think this is another one, one of those games. I think it'd be a lot of fun, like Valheim and Minecraft and Satisfactory. And all, all those kind of persistent world survival craft or whatever games. Uh, I, I, I think they're a lot of fun. Um, this one is very much the same kind of game, just from a dis different perspective. So... I think we'll look into that, and, uh... Games are more fun with friends. Yeah, uh, so... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, maybe do some more of this. I... If anyone has seen my YouTube today, there's been, like, eight uploads, I think. Because I did all of my videos all in one go from, like, two weeks... Um, but I'll try to get this one put up tonight just, just to make sure I don't have an entire day that I devote to uploading VODs anymore. But, uh, yeah, Vanny, Zero G, anyone else who popped in to watch a little bit of Project Zomboid, appreciate you guys stopping by, and, uh, looking forward to doing some more of this, uh, later on. Uh... Tomorrow, we're looking to jump back into Satisfactory at noon, like usual. And the VOD Watchers as well, as if you're if you're popping in on the VODs over on YouTube or in the two weeks that it'll be on Twitch. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe stop in at uh, 12 o'clock Central tomorrow for some Satisfactory with friends. Maybe we'll be lucky and Zero G will join us. Uh, and then 6 p.m., same day, uh, again central uh time zone central u.s time zone uh we're gonna be doing devil may cry probably finish up the main story of that game and then see about starting in to the virgil playthrough because that's the whole part that i've been looking forward to this entire time 
Uh, Thursday, usual 8 o'clock hunt showdown with Dragon Durant. And then Friday, doing something a bit different at uh, 6 p.m. We're jumping into Minecraft, uh, looking to start building the village of Woodhaven. So stay tuned. But otherwise, have a good one.